guys, John here, LearningGuitarNow.com. And in this free lesson, I wanna show you how to play a Clapton three o'clock blues style solo. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first few licks for free. And if you would like access to the full 24 bar solo lesson, as well as access to the interactive tab and backing track, uh, check out the all access pass. Uh, when you do become a member, you'll also gain access to the complete Play Like Clapton Part 3, which includes a lesson on the tone I got for this course, how to use picking dynamics like Eric Clapton, using upstrokes to get more of that Clapton sounding bending style, three exercises on how to play better slow blues, an overview of how I went about playing the solo and how you can learn how to improvise a solo in the style of Eric Clapton. Okay, let's go ahead and start this free lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this solo down for you into 13 separate licks. Uh, once again, this is played in the key of B. Uh, lick one sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number one, uh, pretty basic lick, utilizing the first position minor pentatonic scale, uh, starting right here on the ninth fret of the G string, third finger, and uh, utilizing a rake at the very beginning. That's uh, one of the things that you definitely wanna take note of is that first rake gives us a lot of attitude when starting off this solo. Uh, it's also coming in on the 10th count so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right on that 10th count, we'll start this lick. So ninth fret, bending it up, pull it down. Nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, and then um, bending this up here again. You know, the notes are pretty simple. It's right here, first position minor pentatonic on the D and the G strings. Uh, getting the notes down is not the hard part. The hardest part is getting the attitude. And the little cutoff at the end. So bending that seventh fret slightly, or minor third, almost to the major third sound. And then cutting off that 97 on the D string. So getting the notes down, very easy like I said, you got this. vibratoing that D string at the end, just a tad, and doing that little pull off at the end. Now, the thing that you wanna take note of is you wanna play it very relaxed, almost uh, thinking behind the beat and make it sound like uh, you're dragging. Like I've talked about in the course before, uh, playing like uh, it's three o'clock in the morning. So dragging it like that. If we don't drag it, play on, right on top of the beat, you would have this. Just very, right on the beat, very precise. Drag it a little bit. Added some more vibrato on the D string, and you get a more relaxed feel, and that's the type of vibe I'm going for this solo. Okay, so that's it for lick one. All right, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so that's lick number two. Uh, a lot of stuff happening with that lick. Uh, we're still on the one chord B, B7. And so I'm gonna do the Chuck Berry move, but I added a rake there. You can, uh, you don't really have to do a rake. I like doing a rake right there, but some of these, uh, you know, that Johnny B. Good classic look. I always call that Chuck Berry look. But I add a rake here, give it more attitude. Bar your first finger on the seventh fret, bending that ninth um, fret with the, on the G string, your third finger. And then we're gonna slide in 10 to 12 using that Clapton vibrato. Now, uh, we're gonna hit 10 after this, first finger. So we got 10, 11 on the G string, 12 on the B string. I like that pattern a lot. 
slide backwards to ninth fret on the G string, pull off to the seventh fret of the G string, back to the seven here. In this little phrase, bending ninth fret on the G, seven on the B, now pull up, pull down, and pull off. And then we're gonna do this run here. Uh, it's common blues phrase, hammering on seven to nine, and then barring your first finger and bending that seventh fret on the G string here. You got. It's just a commonly used blues phrase that you have to know. Now take your third finger and bar on the ninth fret on the D and the A string. Get that to roll down. So you got. So it's a little bit of a crazy little manu maneuver technically. You got this barred and you're bending that G. And I'm doing this up, down, up, down on both those uh, four notes. And then I'm gonna walk down the blues scale. Seventh fret, starting on the uh, D string, first finger, nine, eight, seven, six. And the thing about the last part, you got, you're gonna kinda drag those notes really heavily. You just don't want to play it like. Drag it and slow down the lick in between it so it's not really a precise rhythm. Also change the dynamics in the lick as I talked about earlier in a previous lesson in this course. Uh, so once again, lick too slowly, we have this. Main things to take note of is dragging that very end, uh, changing the dynamics from within the lick, and also getting these nuances down that sound like this. If you can't do that good, make an exercise out of it, play it in all keys. You should be able to do that in your sleep. Okay, so that is lick two. Okay, like three sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number three. Uh, it's one of my favorite style Clapton licks. A lot of times they'll just slide from anywhere up to the 10th fret of the high E string and then gradually just bend. So you have to be really precise when you slide from maybe the third, fourth, fifth fret, whatever you feel like, and then gradually bend that. I'm also just striking the string uh, very lightly. I'm not going and hitting it hard. It's just a very light touch with that. Gradually bend up, walking down first position, minor pentatonic scale, seven, 10, seven. And that's a common phrase you'll hear Clapton use. Slowly, seven, 10, seven, nine on the G. Then hitting 10 on the B, 7, 10, 7, hammer on pull off. If you want to play his style, you have to get that down perfectly. A lot similar um, to the exercise I talked to you about in this course. Again, if you can't do it, make an exercise out of it, play it in all keys. So, a uh, great little piece right there, just the start of this lick three. Now nine on the uh, G string, seven on the B string, then pulling off, then nine on the uh, D, seven, nine on the G, ending with that Clapton vibrato, seventh fret here on the uh, B string. Slowly we got this lick, And that is played over the four chord, E7 chord, E9 chord, you know. We're ending on that fifth interval, uh, B, but it's also a note contained in E9, if you notice. So a lot of times it's helpful to understand 
you know, not only what interval that we're playing over in pertaining to the key that we're in, so this would be the fifth interval, you know, we're playing in the key of B, but what is the relationship between this note and then the chord we're playing over? If you look at it as uh, playing over the E, what note is that chord tone wise? It's the uh, ninth, so that's a note taken from the E9 chord. So it's, for me, it's helpful to understand that. I think it's helpful for everyone to understand that because it makes you play more melodically because you're playing chord tones over the chords that you're playing. Another thing to take uh, note of with lick three is uh, we're changing the dynamics in between the lick again. So you don't want to play it straight. Play it straight, you got this. Sounds good. Now let's play dynamically and change dynamics from within the lick. See, I played it harder, softer, harder, softer. And you can change the way you do that. And also talk about this in the course as well. Go more in, more in depth about how to go about doing that. So that's what you want to take note of with Lick 3. Uh, learning how to play more dynamically and also just getting that slide down and getting this down very well. <laughs> Gotta have that. Okay, so that is Lick 3. Okay, well that does it for this free lesson. Once again, like I said previously, if you would like access to the full 24 bar lesson, uh, as well as any interactive tab and backing track and all the lessons included in Play Like Clapton 3, uh, check out the All Access Pass. You'll also gain access to all the courses on the site, as well as the full lesson, interactive tab, and backing track for all the video podcasts. All right, I'll see you next time.